welcome to Onyx Earth Tarot. Everything you need to know about me is in the description box below. So we are back with another pick of the card reading. It's going to be a love reading. It's going to be an 18 plus reading because this is what we voted on. And by we, I mean you. I just, um, I did the tiebreaker because right now, if I check, I think two of them are tied. So I knew it was going to be an 18 plus reading. For a second, the What's Next in Love 2022 was really close, but I just went ahead and did the tiebreaker and I'll do the other one next week. And we'll probably still do What's Next in Love that following week, but we'll see. We'll see. I may put up another poll. So we're not going to waste any time. We're just going to get right into it. Again, this is 18 plus adult themed reading i'll let you select your pals we have pile one which is the pyrite crystal we have pile two which is the hematite crystal and then we have pile three which is the dalmatian jasper crystal and these are from left to right okay go ahead and select your pile if you need more time go ahead and pause the video all right, pile one, if you selected this pyrite crystal, then this is your reading. I'm going to jump right in with the tarot, and then I have about four oracle decks, and we're going to get straight to the gritty of who's sending you sexual energy. And I'm realizing that I don't, I don't believe I said it in the intro, but it doesn't matter. I'm going to say it for each pile, and it is on the thumbnail, and it is in the title title sorry um yeah so let me just get to shuffling so we can see for pile one who is sending you sexual energy let's get these details six of wands this is somebody that's really feeling themselves right now and or like seeing you accomplished like this is someone that's they're, they're kind of like it's giving flirtatious energy it's somebody coming off of some type of win like some type of success like somebody's doing really well right now and that's kind of got them in that energy of sending you sexual energy like it's a confidence thing like right now they're they're really high on confidence and i'm not certain that this person is normally as confident but right now i mean it's just they're really feeling themselves and like you could also be one a person that's come off off of a victory and maybe they're kind of like um whatever victory you just had kind of made them like it turned them on like it made them kind of want to get busy with you i guess right <laughs> like but for whatever reason this person's really attracted to success like they're really attracted to it feeling successful makes them i mean it's kind of arousing for them like when they feel successful they feel sexy when they see successful people like that's that's a factor in their sexual attraction if that makes sense so yeah somebody's feeling really good right now with that six of wands so let me get some more energy and i just saw the knight of wands so this person's hot like they're really sending in oh must be the truth i dropped all of the cards um and two more knights revealed themselves to me but i'm not going to take any of these cards it's like yeah it's like five cards on the floor and the knight of wands is like one of the ones like the last one i just picked up off of the floor so like this is somebody that's coming in hot okay somebody's coming in hot and heavy i cannot say for sure that like they're gonna like engage you on that level but because it's too soon to say in the reading but i mean they're definitely thinking about it like that that they're definitely in that energy if this person um the only thing that's gonna stop this person is if they're completely like completely shy and like not the type to act or pursue a person like if they're that type then that's the only way they won't like eventually engage you on that type of level like i can't promise that it's going to be romantic because again this is a reading of a sexual nature but this person's really hot and heavy for you right now and like like they're going right so let's see um i'm looking at the two but now i want to see if i can pull 
some cards specific to this spread without dropping them because <laughs> that's how chaotic this person's energy is and then we have the world so definitely some type of completed cycle some type of victory like there is a very specific incident a very specific moment a very specific energy surrounding this person sending you sexual energy like like again six of wands is a, a victory right the world is like a closed chapter it's some type of success like this there's some type of success happening like right now at the time of the reading whether it's you whether it's this person whether you're both having a blow up but it's really making this person comfortable sexually as it relates to you like i don't know if this is the type of person that kind of has to have their ducks in a row to even um be interested in sex like some people can't um be sexually aroused if they have stuff going on maybe this person's stepping out of the energy of whatever whatever um happened prior to that six of wands energy you know what i mean whatever was before that whatever came before that victory but it's just it's just very interesting that it's just feeling like a very specific circumstance at a minimum surrounding this person's um this person that's sending you sexual energy so let me see i might pull two more and take the bottom just to get more details that are like about um this victory nine of pinnacles so this person's coming into money or you're coming into money or both because right now i'm telling you this person that is sending you sexual energy they're sending you sexual energy because they they like because of success like they they're feeling like It's the same exact thing I said when I first pulled that Six of Wands card. Like, they are feeling themselves right now. Like, this person is feeling really good. They're feeling really accomplished. Like, they, like they're they like, I've got money. I've closed the chapter. Like, I'm winning right now. I need to be sending all of this energy to Power One so that Power One understands, like, I'm trying to get at them. You have the Star card. Like, again... This person feels like you shine as brightly as they do. Um, and this person could also have a lot of attention surrounding them right now, especially since they have um, that victory card. And I'm going to take two because right now these two were determined to come out. The Fool and the Knight of Pentacles. And then at the bottom, yeah, I can slide these over. I got space. I've got space the chariot so as this person is actively sending you the sexual energy um they are not really about the life i'm feeling of like being being dominant in that way let me tell you why so like while this person is sending you all of the sexual energy they may be flirting with you or whatever like that nine of pinnacles and knight of pinnacles it's giving very stable it's giving very independent it's giving slow moving energy so this person's not gonna like this this isn't this person more than likely will not pursue you sexually they may pursue you romantically and then later on you may see that sexual energy come out but that's just not their approach as it relates to um interacting with other people they don't come up like they're not gonna actively um project on a, at least not consciously that sexual energy to somebody um without associating it with some type of romance or some type of love offering that's just how this person operates how this person functions but um let me see if i can see more energy about this person that is sending you sexual energy right now okay they could very well have aquarius placements or cancer placements because of the fool and the chariot but honestly, this is a very earth dominant um pile with um that nine of pentacles and the knight of pentacles. Like I'm not gonna count the major arcana, even though there are lots of those, but I will say because we have three major arcana cards on the table, this person um has more than a sexual connection with you. If you um already have an idea of who this is, then you 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 can already tell the connection you two kind of have like that that sexual energy is kind of an extension of some spiritual soul connection that you two kind of have already if if you know who I'm talking about 
right? Because again, the, the perfect description right now for this person is someone that's really successful, like a recent victory, a recent win. Um, and that win is associated with the closing cycle, like a cycle, like they just stepped out of one situation into a new situation that's been better for them. You know, they've got, you know, a situation where they might've gotten like a, a promotion at work or a raise, like with that nine of pentacles, it's giving like somebody like is making a lot more money than they're used to making, especially with the fool. Like it's a new journey, a new situation. Um, again, they're not, um, like this person, I wouldn't consider this person like rich because it's nine of pentacles or nine of pentacles, but they feel, um, wealthy on an individual level. Like me, like they may not be quite at the point of, okay, I can support a whole family or I'm at the top, top of the food chain, but they're, they're like, they're giving, um, number two, three energy, right? Um, they're, they're definitely, rising the ranks of whatever career, whatever industry, entrepreneurship they're in, okay? Especially with the chariot. Like chariot and knight of pentacles is somebody that's progressing. Like this is a person that's at a next level, but not quite at the top, right? If that makes sense, right? Nine of pentacles instead of 10 of pentacles. So let me pull these astrology based cards so we can see more but i mean i feel like that's a really specific description i mean to tell you who that is sending you the sexual energy it's looking like this person kind of wants to bring you into whatever new cycle this is right with the world and the fool especially the chariot if you're feeling that this person's like pursuing you or like interested in you or if this person's like that like, i mean you're seeing if this per like who's sending you sexual energy. And this person is obviously sending you sexual energy. Um, it seems like this person kind of sees you as part of their next phase in, as it relates to um, success. Three of these cards threw themselves in my hand. So I am about to take all three in the bottom. This is interesting because I just said cancer and I think I said heavy earth, but let me, let me, where am I going to place these? without them being in the way. Okay, so the bottom of the deck is Chiron, which is um, hurt and heal. In astrology, it's considered the wounded healer. So this person um, sending you sexual energy could be um, on a journey of healing. You may be on a journey of healing. Something associated with healing and trauma and such um, is kind of pulling this person in, and which makes perfect sense with um, that world card and the fool. Because I have here um, Pluto, which is transformed. So this person could be Pluto, have, have um, a heavy Pluto in their charts. Scorpio placements, eighth house energy, right? And then um, we have Virgo, integrity, reverence, and service. Virgos like to fix people. So if there's you have a lot of trauma in your history, that makes sense um, that you would be attracting that energy. I can drag Virgos because I am one. <laughs> Like, you know, they kind of have that savior complex sometimes. Um, and then I have cancer who also, um, they have like that nurturing energy, very similar to um, Virgo. And you have cancer on the table twice. Um, yeah. So again, this is a person, this victory may be, may be um, healing, you know, it may be emotional base. It may be mental base. It may be you know, whatever the win is, it does feel like it, it was more than just that financial victory in the Nine of Pentacles. Because again, like I said, that Nine of Pentacles victory is a big victory with the Nine of Pentacles and the Chariot, but it's not like set. It's not like set. Like you're not set for life. Like you, you, you know what I mean? Like with, with the money that came in, like it's good money and that person's going to be doing really well financially, but it's like... Um, I don't know. I feel like this, this, this victory in this six of wands is, is much deeper with this world and this full energy. It, it feels like something healed, like some trauma that's been surpassed, um, like wellness based, especially since we have Virgo on the table, maybe ancestry based, considering we have cancer on the table twice, fourth and sixth house themes. Mm -hmm. possibly eighth house things as well, since we have Pluto, those types of things, right? Transformation, healing from mourning some type of loss, um, healing emotionally, because cancer is ruled by the moon. Um, again, Virgo is health and wellness. It could be physical, um, like your physical health. Whatever it is, it's a victory. Um, this person is riding the high off, and it's just 
um, elevating that sexual energy that they're sending to you more than they probably would normally be sending it because they're just feeling really good right now, really stimulated, really high off of success. Um, but back to you, this person may be a bit like, you know, they might be watching you. I'm not going to lie because that Pluto energy is, is making me feel that way. And then with Virgo attention to detail and the emotional attachment with cancer, um, it, it, it could be that kind of energy happening for you. But, um, yeah, this person definitely sees and with this, this car back to this car, I know I keep talking about it. This person feels like they can fix you if you are wounded in some way. Like this person feels like they can help heal you like that. That is what this person considers. And I feel like this is familiar energy. Like I've talked about this in the sexual readings before. So you may be asking about a person you've asked about in the past or have someone in mind, or maybe that person is coming through, even though you, you know, cause we're, we're asking who we're not saying that it has to be someone on your mind. It's whoever comes through in the pile, right? But this person's coming through and it does feel familiar. Like this person, when they're like that, the sexual energy that they're still sending you feels very, very creative. It feels like healing through sex. It feels like, like this person may, if this person does any types of spell work, root work, conjuring, this person is very powerful, but they also feel like they use their sexual energy in that way, right? And that may lead to some of these victories. Who knows? But that's that's just how I'm feeling right now. Let me pull from the other deck and see what I get. But very, very sexual energy, very, very strong energy coming through for this person. Um, I could see why you would be getting the reading to see who's sending you sexual energy, even if you don't have someone in mind, because the energy this person's sending is very, very strong. It's not, it doesn't feel lustful, it, but it is a very powerful um, sexual presence. It, it But it, it's from a foundation of spirit, though. It's not like that, that lust surface level. It's very, very deep um, and spiritual. So let me just see what else I can get because I don't know if this is what you all were intending when we asked who was um who was sending you sexual energy but that's okay because I do have the two um sexual based decks that I'm gonna pull from specifically right now we're just trying to get to who because that is the most important thing um let me see I did see void of course moon which is nothing will come up this situation um, but it but it went back in, so I didn't I didn't take it. So that may be a relevant message for you. And then we have full moon surrender to the divine. And then we'll pull two more and take the bottom. Give this moon you're very close to achieving your goal. And then what else, what else, what else? What is happening here? I just saw South Node, but it didn't want to come. And South Node is at the bottom of the deck. And I'm trying to grab the card that fell. And we got Scorpio again. Okay, definitely may have Scorpio placements. It's time to release negativity. So this person's definitely thinking of like when they associate healing with sex as it relates to you specifically. Like I said, don't let the past hold you back at South Node. So it feels like someone you definitely interacted with on some level because of South Node, that's past energy, something that happened. Um, but it doesn't have to be a seriously strong intense connection like it doesn't have to be an ex of like a million years right it doesn't have to be like your friend it could be both of those things but it doesn't have to be is what i'm saying i know a lot of you um come here for new people and new situations to see what's going on um because it could very well be someone new just someone that you've interacted with on some level because south node is um on the table but this is a person the reason why they're sending you the sexual energy is because in the past they've held back like it like maybe that healing maybe they have a lot of sexual energy to heal right with with that Chiron card on the table and like I said the eighth house themes here it may be um that they've held back a lot sexually in the past and now they're kind of stepping into that confidence we talked about earlier and and now they're like kind of like I guess 
you've been chosen. <laughs> I guess you've been chosen. That's funny. Um, because like I said, don't let the past hold you back. So they're like stepping into an energy of being very confident in their sexuality, confident in confident with sex, confident with who they are, right? Surrender to the divine. Like they're just kind of opening up and like I guess hoping you'll catch the energy, whether they're doing it directly, whether they're like, I don't know, telepathy, don't know. Um, I'm saying that because there's lots of spiritual energy on the pile. Um, but yeah, we've got surrender to the divine. You're very close to achieving your goal. It's time to release negativity. So any things, all of the stipulations this person may or may not have as it relates to sex, like they're kind of throwing that out of the window and like they're sending you sexual energy because they're like, you know what, Powell you might be next. <laughs> I love that. That's funny. Um, but yeah, like you're very close to achieving your goal. They're feeling kind of hot right now. Like they're feeling like you may, you may be into it. You may be down. So, um, I mean, if you are make it clear to this person because they're, they're kind of feeling like that. So like, you know, it is what it is. You're, you're watching the reading. If this is someone you're interested in, by the way, because we didn't like, we didn't ask specifically. I think the next question is going to be targeted. So more to the the next, the, the video next week, if you're watching this in real time, is going to be the video tailored to a specific person that you have in mind. This is just so we can see who it is. And I feel like I'm giving you that information for you to connect the dots. If you're interested, this person feels like they're getting hot, like they're making progress. If you're not interested, whatever mixed signals you're sending the person, or maybe it's all in their head, could that happen sometimes? They just, um, they're feeling confident about you being down to get busy <laughs> that's funny so let me start with the um sex answers oracle because i I mean i know i kind of just grazed over the moonology cards but i mean i was very straight to the point it, it it's a person that's kind of you know they're going for it basically please tease me it's hilarious because I was, um, and you may see it next week if I continue with that theme, but when I was making the thumbnail, there was like lips with the lollipop and I almost used that picture on the thumbnail. So that's interesting. So the person that is, um, sending you sexual energy power one may be highly psychic, whether consciously or not, but yeah. Um, but obviously Please tease me. Um, this person really loves flirtation. They really love attention. This is a person that really, really just, they're sending you sexual energy. They really want and crave your attention. They want um, your focus to be on them. Obviously, there's um, energy surrounding oral, um, sweets, snacks. This person may like snacks. Um, this person may have really nice lips or you may. This is... Um, the types of energy that they're sending you you're my fantasy Ooh, so this is interesting so this person if you look at this card there's a veil on her face so this person may um this may not be somebody you know this may be someone you, you've never seen before like you know how sometimes people have um what, what's the word What's the thing called that I have on the YouTube? <laughs> like, right? Like I have the Onyx Earth thing, but it's not my real name. Like maybe that uh, that is a thing for this person. Um, like they, they're very secretive or maybe um, for some of you, this is a person that's hiding how they feel. Like they're sending you all of the sexual energy, but you, you don't even realize it. Like, it's, oh, I dropped the card. It's like a friend that's doing that, right? Like someone that you wouldn't expect or maybe a coworker or something because like they're just daydreaming and fantasizing about you because this is a person that's heavy in their head as it relates to you. With this, what's, with this, you're my fantasy card, okay? But again, that veil over the face feels very relevant to who this is, right? Like hidden identity. This person may have um, like burner accounts on social media or um, things like that. So let's see. Okay, and then the last card we have is no strings attached. Which is interesting. Okay, and I'm going to talk about that in a minute because we've got mixed signals, right? Got mixed signals here. So again, it, it, like I said earlier, if this is a person you're interested in, make sure that they know. If it's a person you're not interested in, then... um handle it however you feel comfortable but um let me slide this back into frame 
yes and then um because you have no strings attached but this no strings attached feels very intimate right like they're kind of doing the footsie thing like they're very close so it's like be careful pile one because this person is very deeply um emotional very they feel very intensely based on all of the cards you've got on the table and i genuinely we, we talked about the person kind of possibly being a lot being reserved in the past and having stipulations and trauma as it relates to sex for whatever reason and them opening up more and sending you that energy because they're hoping you'll be the next person that they can kind of heal with sexually but just if they come at you with this no strings attached thing it's a lie don't believe it i don't believe it at all for a second it's it's what they're gonna do to get close to you unfortunately if that's if you're not interested in them on a romantic level i would advise you to not have sex with this person pal one because um They'll lie and say no strings attached, but they'll be very emotionally involved. You have Chiron on the table, and that Pluto on the table, Cancer, right? You'll even begin to get mixed signals. Like, they'll tell you no strings attached, but really, there's lots of strings. You're, you're actually wrapped in a web, okay? So just, just be mindful of that. Like I said, if, if this is someone you're interested in, someone that you would like to pursue a, a connection with, that's fine, but I would not play those no strings attached games friends with benefits whatever games with with this person power one i don't believe it for a second okay so but like i said if this is someone you're like yes this is a person that i like this is a person that i want that i'm interested in then you go ahead and, but but if they come at you with the no strings attached call them a liar to their face because it's not realistic it's not realistic at all for this person um, with all of the trauma they have associated with their emotions and and sex as a sex in general and things like that and it's just not realistic boom what did i just say because i'm pulling from the erotic sex oracle now and just leaping out into my hand sacred oh why am i so clumsy today what is happening give me a second i have to grab this card and maybe that's what's happening with this person. Maybe somebody's like fumbling the bag, fumbling like a love of their life or something like that. Like, or maybe this person's trying not to fumble you. Maybe that's why they feel like the no strings attached approach is the way to come at you. But I'm just dropping stuff all over the place. Like it's feeling like a fumble right now. Okay, but sacred sex, okay, sacred sex. This person, um, and I feel like that's a wedding band. It's looking like a wedding man so this is a person that's very um intense very into um commitment right this is not a no strings attached person this is a person that believes that sex is healing that it is intimate that it is a spiritual practice do not buy no strings attached it's a lie and honestly some of you not a lot of you but just that came to me small um, if this person is a conjurer root worker or whatever, like this person will use sex to bind you. They will attempt that if you play these games of no strings attached. Especially if you can tell they want you. Like just 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 be mindful of your energy and who you're interacting with, y'all. Um, but yeah, sacred sex. Um, and that's and that's not to scare you, because honestly, that's not an overpowering energy of this power, but it's just a, a underlying energy. Like maybe one or two of you should be concerned about that. Um, yeah, but sacred sex, that's this person's perception of sex. So where am I going to put this? I'm just going to, we're going to just make do with what we have, <laughs> the space we have. Um, let me pull, and I promised myself I wouldn't let these be long, but pile one is super long for whatever reason. Um, it's looking like it's going to reach that 30 minute mark. We're at the 27th minute, which may be a relevant number to you. Exactly. So two cards came out at once as I talked about it. Let me put down this bottom. Romantic and sensual. I told y'all, this person can't be trusted with this no strings attached. And if this is a person that you're doing no strings attached with, it's not realistic. It's not real. I'm telling you right now, this person already has feelings. Um, and especially, um, since you have great lover at the bottom, like you may be the more experienced of the two of you. If you really like give this person that sacred sex, romantic, sensual, if you have or plan to like, it's going to be good and it's not going to help this casual situation that it seems like 
maybe underlying. Like all of you are not in a casual situation or are not attempting a casual situation, but like half of you, it's a thing. The other half of you, it's it's a lot more it's a lot more beautiful because it's a beautiful like tantric sacred sexual experience with the person that you're building um and establishing an intimate connection with like it's a spiritual connection and sex is just fit the physical enactment of that connection you have with this person but those of you that are trying to keep it casual it's way deeper than that for this person or if like I said you, I'm not saying you're having sex with this person you don't have to be I'm just telling you what could happen if you do and you know who this person is because I feel like it it's a very specific person I feel like it's been clear so um like I said I've given you the advice I've told you who it was I told you how they're seeing you and how why they're sending the energy and how so just like I said, take what resonates, leave what doesn't. But if it did resonate, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, pal two, if you selected this hematite crystal, then this is your reading. I forgot to say it in the intro, but the reading we're doing today is who's sending you sexual energy. So it's okay if you have a specific person in mind, but honestly, we're going to see who it is. Um, I don't, I had, Pal 1 didn't have multiple people to my knowledge, but that's possible. If it comes up, we'll read it that way. But the reality is we're just going to probably focus on the primary energy of who's sending you the sexual energy. That way it could be a little more descriptive. Descriptive. So let's just get into the tarot. And I have um, four oracle decks, two astrology base, and two um, sex oracle decks. Okay, so who's sending sexual energy to Kyle 2? Let's see. Right away, right away, we've got the Knight of Cups. You may have wanted to pick Pile 1 because knights were flying all over the place at the beginning. It was really chaotic energy. But this is very young, youthful, possibly inexperienced energy. But it's also lover energy. Someone that wants to make a romantic offer to you, okay? That is what's happening for you, Pile 2. Very young, very inexperienced, but lover energy. Someone that wants to offer you that cup and that is hoping that you'll accept it, Okay. That's very sweet, very pure. It's giving very young. Um, but the Hierophant here feels very established. Like this is probably someone that's looking for a, con a, a connection that is going to develop into um, possibly marriage. Like a real established situation. Like they're not looking for anything casual um, at all. But that's also Taurus energy. So um, you are this person, maybe a Taurus Um but honestly, this is energy of a person that is looking to develop sexually. I don't know what kind of people y'all are dealing with, but it's just, it's, it's interesting that it's coming through. I'm not judging. There's nothing wrong with the energy, but like this just feels like inexperienced energy. So how to this person's feeling like they want to, ooh, that's why it's, it's two sides, okay? Some of you are on the other side of this. And that happens often. So some of you, um, this is a person that is hoping you'll develop them sexually. Um, like they're thinking of all of the sex that they could have with you. Um, they're sending you sexual energy because like they're hoping they'll like be able to explore that energy. And others of you, um, they're sending you sexual energy because they want to develop you sexually. Like they can tell you're a bit green, you're a bit young, you're a bit inexperienced. And like the sexual energy that they're sending you, like they're probably fantasizing about all of the ways that they could have you and teach you and develop you on a sexual level. So that's interesting interesting energy but it does look like this person may be looking for a commitment with the two cards we have on the table so far so let me um and we have the six of wands already so yeah this person's really looking but it's, it's different i promise like this person's looking for a victory they're looking for a success as it relates to sex um it's it feels like conquest but not not really like i'm a bit confused by this person's energy if i'm being honest and transparent um it's just it feels like this person is either like i said very young very inexperienced or just not necessarily young but just inexperienced sexually or inexperienced intimately 
on all levels and or sees you as that way and they're looking kind of to establish that foundation of maturity for you or with you either side right with the hierophant and that six of wands of success so let's okay cards are jumping out yeah definitely a person that's marriage minded with this um six of wands I, I hear people mention that it's a twin flame card so if that's something you're interested in like or, or a label like you subscribe to this person may see you as that there's three cards that i don't i don't know um no i'm not taking all of those cards because i already have enough on the table at the bottom you have strength um yeah Let, let's just okay this is leo energy and the strength card so Let's just talk about this right here, because this is a person that is marriage minded. They may come from a very traditional conservative home, um, may have been sheltered in their younger days, um, regardless of which side of them wanting to develop you or you developing them. It, it, it feels like that may have been their younger years. Um, it, it, it feels like this person is really sending you sexual energy because like they're, they're hoping that it's going to end in a commitment with you with that hierophant, six of wands um four of wands combination because four of wands is like a marriage card it's like a, a couple entering their new home it's usually them outside of a brand new home that they're about to start the foundation of and with strength it's like a bond so that's the foundation of the sexual energy with this person it's it's really straightforward and i'm not even about to dwell on these cards because that's exactly what it is with this person like what i just said um and there's like this person's very clear about what it is they want sexually from you what they want from you on a romantic level period honestly like this person's very very sure um and also a bit confident that it could work between the two of you okay and then um i want to pull a third one so i'm not even going to look at the bottom but in my hand i have two cards you have what do you need to release which is waning moon and you have expect powerful change new moon eclipse so this is a person that may be um a bit in the shadows with the eclipse card but honestly um this person is feeling like they're waiting for you like what do you need to release expect powerful change like they're waiting with those two cards let me see what the next card says but that's that's what it is like it's like they kind of new moon is like the opening like they 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 have an opening like or they see an opening or they gave you an opening there's some type of what do you need to release like something that's kind of they're stagnant and they're expecting a powerful change like it's something that they're waiting for like it's almost like they kind of know that things are not going to progress any further with you if they haven't already like whatever level, like if this is someone you're already been, you've already been intimate with, or someone you're already interacting with, or some like a new person, this person is feeling like the ball's in your court, and like things are not gonna progress any further with the connection until you act in some way because they're in that expect powerful change energy. Um, yeah, let me see what the next card is going to say. And that's how you know this person too. Let me see what this next card is. Your commitment is being tested. Third quarter moon. So again, it's all this person's done all that they can do with the connection. So if this, I don't know if this is someone you're interested in, you may or may not be, but if you have an idea of who this is, like I don't feel like, let me see if I can get more specifics, okay? And then I got void of course moon, exactly. Nothing will come with the situation. So this person is kind of, I don't want to say on standby, but as it relates to the connection they are. It's like the connection, they've done all that they can do. Um, so this may be a person that has a crush on you or a person that um, you dated a little bit or you paused or like an ex. Because right now it's feeling like there's a standstill as it relates to the connection. And this person's still sending you sexual energy, but like they've done all that they can do. Which is very bizarre energy to come through here, right? Like, what do you need to release? Like, something needs to be released. Expect powerful change. Your commitment is being tested. Like, this person may feel like their commitment 
is being tested. Like they may feel tested by you. They may feel you're testing them, right? Like this person kind of, like a, I'm, I'm feeling the strong energy of this person feeling like you're testing them, right? And they're all already in the place of, again, nothing is going to change until you do like they can't change the situation they this person doesn't feel in control of the situation with the knight of cups um right like the, some type of established situation and they may actually i don't know nothing will come of the situation kind of feels like they may be losing hope and it also that card also makes me feel how to like half of you don't like, it, nothing will come of the situation because half of you aren't interested, right? Like, there's a half of you that there is the, it is the test, right? There is something to be released, whether it's you or this person, and that ch that change will happen, right, with the commitment being tested and strength. But, like, and that nothing will come of the situation for those of you that are interested in this person. It's like, like, the nothing will come of the situation if you're interested feels like, um, you're, you're kind of fixed on this person, whether they don't, whether or not they realize it, right? Like they can't see it because of the eclipse. But those of you where you're not interested, this person is becoming aware of that very quickly. Like they're just kind of sitting and waiting it out, but eventually they're going to move on because they feel like they can, they can tell, right? So you don't have to worry about letting somebody down easy. Like they're going to move on if that's the case. But um, again, that Knight of Cups, Somebody may have made you an offer, right? Somebody may have um, pursued you with that Knight of Cups already. And Pluto is just all over this reading because that is the first card that came out of this deck, Transform. So again, Pluto energy, it may be somebody that is watching you, similar to Pile 1. Like I said, it's okay if you pick both piles. That happens sometimes. Let me pull from this deck um, some more cards from this deck. Let me shuffle some more. Um... But yeah, this may be someone you ended up connecting with, with that Pluto energy, that eighth house energy, um, or someone that you will end contact with, right? And then you have Cardinal, which is instigation, bravery, and a pioneering spirit. So again, with that Knight of Cups, it's someone that may have pursued you or someone that you have or plan to pursue as well. It could be any of those three scenarios because Cardinal is a spark, it's a spark. It's the first zodiac sign of each season, right? It's Aries, it's Cancer, it is Libra and Capricorn. So those are the signs that are also on the table. But again, it's a spark, it's the beginning of something, it's the initiation of something, it's that offering of that cup. So again, it's half and half half of you are like getting a confirmation that someone that you're interested in on a deeper level is interested in you the other half of you are getting the confirmation that um there's someone sending you sexual energy that you're not really interested in but again for this power you don't have to worry about it because this person if they don't feel like you're um engaging them or if you're like interested they'll just move on i promise um and then you have two cards Pisces and Sagittarius. Let's move this over out of the way. Um, I'm trying to get... Okay, and Pisces says intimacy, intuition, compassion. Sagittarius says optimism, exploration, and freedom. So again, deeply like this, I'm not going to lie, sex with this person would be bomb, regardless of what side of it you're on, because it would be that 12th house eighth house combination and then with like that those Sagittarius components it's like expanding right that developing energy expanding your horizon so it would be very very interesting the sex between the two of you so it, it would be pleasurable but again if this isn't someone you're interested in probably don't want to play those games um what is this peaking five of wands so chaotic energy this person's really nervous and has a lot of anxiety or maybe it's you again it could be both but at the bottom of the deck we have yin which is intuition trust patience spirituality and receptivity so and that card that yin card feels like pisces energy so lots of 12th house energy on there so some of you may not even know that this person is sending you sexual energy because it's like that hidden because i'm even getting that from nothing will come up the situation it's like hidden energy with that yin and pisces and um that eclipse it's like 
you you may not even realize. And if that's the case, either you will realize if you're interested, like if you if you could be interested in this person, you'll realize and then things will move, or you'll um never realize that this person will just move on. Okay, so um oh ooh, this is not one person. This is not one person. This is various people. Um, you're really a popping out here, pal, too. Okay, this is lots of people. But there is one specific. There's one specific person that is um, really coming through. Um, like I said, may have made that offer. But I feel like a lot of people shoot their shot with you. Like that yen card is just re you receiving tons of offers, lots of knights of cups right now. Um, it, it's and, and Sagittarius is very um, expansive Jupiter energy, so it's almost like you receiving romantic offers and access. Like Pisces, people kind of fantasizing about you, glamorizing you. Like you may, you know, have um, I can't remember the word I was gonna say. Um, but anyway, you just you get a lot of attention. People are like really interested in you, and with that initiation energy, like like just just seeing you or interacting you, with you on some level often lights a spark in individuals that are sending you sexual energy. Like you actually may be Pluto, might may have a prominent Pluto or some Scorpio placements or things that make it easy for people to fixate on you because that's like you get that often but again back to that description that knight of cups um let me describe this person the specific one like this person's probably really educated on some way re well read with the hierophant probably um has a very stable career um may have recently moved to a new home with this um not this card this card um i'm seeing wands and i can't count them for whatever reason but this four wands someone with a new home may have recently moved um may have recently started some type of academic program um maybe near you with that victory, like some type of success, maybe a graduation, maybe a promotion, something like that. Um, it's feeling like this person has, okay? So let me pull from these sex oracle decks so we can get more tea on who's sending the sexual energy. But like I said, it's, it's a bit hard for you because you have a lot of people, <laughs> lots of people about to. And that's why you have nothing will come of the situation. There's too many people. Too many people. And you have want to make you scream. So you may be a bit reserved, pal, too, because this is a person. Um, we're going to focus on that primary energy. And it's funny because I was talking about it possibly being multiple people. I guess I was picking on that prematurely when I started your pile. That's interesting. But... Yeah, that want to make you scream. You may be very reserved and people are really looking to, um, I say people, but I meant this person, is really looking to have you take off whatever mask you wear and make you really be your truest, purest self. Um, well, look at that. Ready for booty call. Okay? Like this is a person that um, is kind of counting down the moments to have sex with you. Like, they're, like they'd be down whenever. Like you could probably call them right now and they're down. Let's see. You get another one. Um, you may have a nice backside. They may think that that's nice. <laughs> it's funny. Um, what is this? Well, well, well. I want to taste you. Well, that is something. <laughs> um... Let's see what I can get from these three before I pull the fourth one. I think I'm going to pull the fourth one and then lay down the bottom of the deck. So very, um, very much mouth area focused with this person and backside. So like, this person's energy is really odd and it's not, it's not giving the sexual energy that they think they are. And just like that, worth waiting. So yeah, so like this person's like doing the booty call thing and it's, it feels very similar to Power One and I don't like that. 
Um, some of you, this is an ex, sex with your ex. And some of you, this person's wondering if you're available. Like, they're wondering if you are, um, I'm going to put it here. They're wondering if you're um, single. Let's make love in the moonlight. I actually did see that when I was first shuffling. So that's the thing. This person wants to make love with you. Like, this whole kinky thing that they're acting. Like, oh, I want to taste you, make you scream, booty call. It's not realistic. I hate to say that again. Um, it's more realistic for this pile. If you only pick this pile, it's more realistic for this pile than it is for pile one. But, um... Yeah, let me pull from the other deck because this isn't. This is interesting. Maybe this other deck can help me piece this 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 energy together because it's and it's probably doing that because it's more than one person's energy coming through because you have so many people um, projecting their sexual energy onto you. You probably honestly, pal, too. You need a spiritual bath. You need a spiritual bath to purge your energy of everything, all of the energies that people are projecting onto you, not just sexual, but you're carrying a lot of energy around with you. You're very receptive with that yin card. Um, you also feel very intensely, but like you're kind of carrying around a lot of other people's baggage, possibly even strangers. So make sure you take a spiritual bath. All right. Okay. Because I'm seeing, like, some of you, this is an ex. This is a person with a crush on you. This is somebody you got a crush on, too. Like, and that's just three. You know what I mean? So, it's way too much going on. And you got two cards coming out. And I'll take the other one. So, desire, self-pleasure. Yeah, you got a lot of people fantasizing about you, pal, too. So, it's hard to decipher. Now, I do, with that desire card, I am feeling like there is, like, that really specific person's energy trying to come through. But it's hard because it's so um, cloudy with um, all of this stuff. So, like I said, self-pleasure, lots of people um, self-pleasuring themselves to you, possibly even that specific person. But I, I just was able to kind of cut through a little bit. That desire card, if there is any person sending you sexual energy that you want it to be, with this desire card... There's a flame burning. There's someone you can't quite see. So I don't know if this is like um, one of those piles where it's a future person, like a future situation, someone you've never met or someone you're just not really that familiar with, you're getting to know or that you don't know or that you just can't quite see for whatever reason because shadows, you just can't see, right? So I'm feeling like if any of these people with the sexual energy, it's that one that you you are reciprocating but that's also showing that there's a lot of faces you can't see entangled right entangled oh that's why am i so clumsy tonight what the heck is going on and where did that card go it's right here so entangled is like it's a double meaning because you have such chaotic energy surrounding you, Pao Tzu. Definitely take that spiritual bath because even the imagery on the car shows that you need to. This is all that energy, that gunk from all of these strangers. Um, or maybe it's people that you do know, which is so many of them, um, that are all wanting you, you hot commodity. <laughs> um, but yeah, I mean, this is you entangled with whoever that is you desire. Like you two kind of being entangled in one another, but also you being entangled with so many other people's energies and you may actually be confused about what you want if you I, I mean this energy is taking a turn but this is very important pile too like i know that this is not what y'all always want but like this is very important for your well-being if you're feeling very um stuck or confused or um chaotic or like your energy is all over the place especially sexually it's because you got so many energies on you as it relates to that so let that go and and it could be because you may be engaging a lot of people sexually i'm not judging you if you are but just make sure you're cleansing yourself properly so that you don't take that so tease whoever you feel like you may be flirting with a little bit that's the primary energy okay that's the primary energy. All of that other energy, make sure you wash it off. I'm not saying you even have to want the primary energy. You don't, because um, some of you don't. But 
you just definitely wash off that energy and, and like i said honestly even if you take the spiritual bath it doesn't erase the primary energy if it's one you're interested in it just rinses off all of the gunk that that's attached to you that you don't want on you okay um and at the bottom we have stolen kisses and like again another shadow figure so i'm feeling like the primary energy is someone that you can't quite see for whatever reason which makes no sense fantasies Like I said, all of those fantasies, lots of people fantasizing about you, even the primary energy, but it's not like, yeah, take that spiritual bath, I said, okay, definitely take that spiritual bath, I said, but right now, the primary energy, that person feels like um, you're flirting, um, like they're fantasizing about you, they may be masturbating as they send it, like they're thinking about your face as you climax, like they're thinking about oral with you they're willing to wait with worth waiting a lot of these people are willing to wait i don't know who you are about to you got like some magnetic energy but take that spiritual bath so um or cleanse yourself in whatever way you feel you cleanse yourself spiritually but you need to be cleansed spiritually um yeah i'm gonna just leave it there because this energy is a lot i'm about to cleanse my space and do power three okay so Hopefully this resonated power too. If it did, please like, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching. All right, pal three, if you selected this Dalmatian Jasper, then this is your reading. Now, I forgot to say it in the intro, but the reading we're doing today, it is who's sending you sexual energy, okay? 18 plus adult reading, y'all know the drill. So I'm going to start with this tarot deck. And then I have four oracle decks, I have two astrology based decks, and then I have two sex oracle decks that we're going to look at. Um, it's, it's possible that more than one person will come through, as I said in Pile 2, um, but we're going to try to focus on the primary energy of who's sending you sexual energy. So you can determine if this is someone you want to be sending you that energy, or if it's somebody you're going to have to reject soon. Let's see. Hopefully it's somebody you want. That's the news we want to hear, right, Pile 3? Let's see. So who's sending Pile 3 sexual energy? There's a, bit of there's, there's a bit of hesitation from this person. They may not be as bold um, as you may or may not want them to, but hmm, there is a spark, Ace of Wands, right? Ignited. Like, there's a spark happening with this person that um sending you negative ooh negative some of you need to watch it some people some of these people are sending you negative energy like it's sexual like some of these people are attracted to you but like they don't like that they're attracted to you and so like that sexual energy they're sending you is really aggressive because they don't like being attracted attracted to you sexually and that's just an intuitive read because of me saying that negative naturally just be careful because like you know sex can be weaponized so just be mindful of the people around you okay pal three um the world okay a spark a completed cycle who's sending pal three sexual energy four of swords that's healing rest energy and the hermit so we got virgo on the table um the person sending you sexual energy has been single for quite some time pal three it's a person that's been been really to themselves they're not um that hesitation is somebody that's not quite certain how to approach someone sexually with the queen of pentacles at the bottom it's definitely earth sign energy um not saying this person is an earth sign but they may have earth placements or their nature feels very earth like very stable um very slow moving um not really um action oriented in, in the way that is the wand may not be as openly passionate and emotional as cups would be may not be as outspoken as air right so 
because that's I'm getting that this person's very quiet, very reserved, and not used to having to initiate this energy, right? Like they know how to end cycles, but they don't know how to begin them, if that makes sense. Like this is a person that feels like they're constantly healing with that hermit and four of swords card like they're constantly evaluating their themselves and evaluating their development their wellness because hermit virgo rule sixth house um of health and wellness so like they're constantly evaluating themselves on their performance and how they're growing and developing as a person their spiritual journey this is a person that's very very fixed on their spiritual journey um, they're constantly healing, constantly recovering. They're not big on going out and really living. They just kind of want to be stable with that Queen of Pentacles card. Um, but like I said, that they're not good at initiating beginnings. They're very good at closing chapters. So they'll close a chapter and then they're left with, well, what do I heal next, right? Like they'll heal a part of themselves. And instead of saying, I've healed this part, let me enjoy the the areas of life that were previously limited, right, by me needing this healing. No, no, no. They're not going to enjoy the things that they were previously limited by. They're going to find another fault within themselves to heal some more. That's how this person approaches their, their development, their ascension, their spiritual journey. It's very, very sad. And, um, it's almost like this person punishes themselves for not being perfect. Okay, so I'm going to pull from these astrology-based decks. And right away, I already have a Virgo card. So this is some strong Virgo energy. You may ever be a Virgo. This person may be a Virgo. If they don't have Virgo placements, they very much have those stereotypical nitpicky Virgo tendencies. Um, and it says you are good enough. So again, this person constantly, they, they suffer with self-esteem issues. They constantly feel inferior. They never feel ready to go out into the world right, to leave that grave that is the four of swords, right, right now they're hiding underground, they're hiding in a cave that, 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 from that hermit, right, they're not, they don't want to go out into the world, they struggle with that, but, um, not that they don't want to, with that spark, they would like to, with you are good enough, they would like to, they just constantly suffer from feeling inferior and not feeling good enough to go out and pursue those things, and I know this is, like, it's like, okay, where's the sexual energy it, we're getting a deep in description of this person honestly if if it, if it doesn't come through soon with this deck or the next one we do have two decks on the table that are very specific to sexual energy so just bear with me as i tell you who this person is if you haven't already guessed this will help you um see so let's see but a person that suffers with deep self-esteem issues and i've got two cards on the table we've got a new romantic cycle begins with libra And then we have Surrender to the Divine Full Moon. This came out in a previous deck, You may in a previous pile. If you watched that pile, then this is confirmation that both piles are for you. And then you have New Moon. A new start is coming. So Ace of Wands, New Moon, this person sending you um, sexual energy, it's kind of trying to get that courage of, I'm not going to say they're going to pursue you. That's a lot for this person. But it does feel like this is a person you could be interested in with that Libra card, okay? So somehow, some way, it's looking like you two may become a thing if you haven't already. Like, it's not, this is feeling brand new energy. Power three, you feel like brand new energy, like this is crush. This is somebody that's interested in you. This is somebody you're interested in. It's not feeling like somebody that um, you've been with. If so, it's an ex that like, you this would be an ex that you've completely healed from that's like a whole new person there's no baggage associated with this person anymore regardless of what happened like this would feels like an ex from years and years ago if that's the case like it doesn't even matter anymore you're not holding this person accountable for past trauma even though they may be holding themselves accountable because it just feels brand new and i mean you literally have 
a new romantic cycle begins, right? A new start is coming. So it's feeling like brand new energy. And then you've got the new moon, full moon cycle. So that may be a timeline for you within that next new moon, full moon cycle. But it just, this person, somehow, some way, it looks like there's going to be a new romantic cycle between you and this person, okay? Or at least that's what this person is hoping for. But it feels... I don't believe that card would have come out if it wasn't mutual. So let me get from this other astrology they said before I jump to conclusions. Taurus. So we have Virgo on the table and one of you may be a Taurus. Or have both placements, right? Trust, patience, sensuality. I couldn't see it in this lighting. So very sensual energy. So their sexual thoughts are very sensual. It's not that super um, sexual energy. It's more passionate and sensual based. That's the energy this person is sending. It's very sensual energy. Okay. Fixed. Okay. It says stability, persistence, loyalty, dependability. It, that, that's the energy I'm talking about. Like this person is very stable, very secure, very sensual versus sexual. That's the energy they'll send you. Um, this is Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy on the table. So that's Taurus twice, Virgo twice, um, and Libra is also there. So Venus ruled individual possibly. Let me get one more and then I'll take the bottom. This, oh, okay. So my point must stand. I'm not taking all of these cards, but I, you know what? I'm going to take this one that's face down, Pisces. Intimacy, intuition, compassionate. Compassion, a very spiritual individual, may be heavy into the moon, may love the moon with, with new moon and full moon. Um, it, it, this person may have a thing with the moon or they may be into astrology or track the moon cycles. They're just, the moon is a thing for them. But in these saying Venus rule, it's at the top of this stack that threw itself down. And then Mars, okay, but this person is not very flexible. They like comfort. So I, I, I'm not throwing all of these cards on the table <laughs> because I just simply do not have the space and I don't want to dwell. But um, yeah, the, these, the first two, like Venus and Mars, so this person kind of feels like you two are like counterparts to some degree. Um, you have 11th house in reverse. 11th house rules social interaction. It rules networking. So this person is resistant to that. You have mutable in reverse, which is essentially fixed. And then you have 4th house in reverse, which is um, a lack of comfort with their ancestry, their home life, their family, their roots. But at the bottom of the deck, I will take is the north node so this person feels like destined to have it's like destined to have you destined for you to be on their journey destined for you to be on one another's journey that's how this person is feeling right now okay heavy heavy um fixed energy from this person like this is a person that is sending you sexual energy but it's more sensual and pure energy i'm interested to see what these sex oracle cards will say but it's very sensual energy it's not sexual it's sensual and it's i know that's not what you wanted from this reading but this is i don't want to say it's the best pile but this person's fixed on you like this person is stable like that's somehow some way this new romantic cycle begins, a new start is coming is because like this person's kind of decided like that I want this person. I want pile three. I'm interested. I'm all in. Let me see how I get to a place where I'm comfortable, right? Where I'm confident making this romantic cycle, like feeling good enough to make this cycle happen with pile three where I can surrender to pile three, right? So let me start with the um, erotic sex oracle and we're gonna get down to the gritty and see. While I'm shuffling though, I know I kind of skated over that north note, but this person genuinely sees you as a part of their future, a part of their journey. And this is interesting. We have other lovers. So make it, okay, so pile three, this person may think you have options and that's part of that, um, Part of that energy of you are good enough like this person may feel like they have to compete for your affection that may be in a way like it's hard to be sending sexual energy when you feel like you know you're in a competition right so if this person does not 
Like if you're seeing other people, this person's aware. If you're not, this person's perception is that you have other people, other options, whether you're pursuing them or not. It's just, it's making this person anxious because of the um, competition and them feeling like they'll have to compete for your affection, right? And then you have seduction. Okay, again, very sensual energy, not hypersexual, but very sensual, seductress energy. Like this is a, you know, seducing, doesn't have to be feminine. This person doesn't have to be feminine, but this person's like, honestly, other lovers and seduction feels like this person's trying to figure out how to stand out for you. Like how do they get your attention? Like, what can they do to seduce you away from those other lovers and see them as the best option? That's that's where this person's head is. Okay, power three. So let me, let me, okay. Breaking rules. This is a very interesting, but I said this was not a hypersexual pile. This person, um, something about you breaks their rules. Like, something about you... Um, I don't want to say it's forbidden, but it, it's not what they would normally go for. It's actually the opposite of what they say they would do. Like, honestly, something about you, it's it's not, um, something about you and dealing with you is breaking this person's rules. But anyway, sexual healing, right? That's the energy that they're getting, that they're giving you. Like, they're, they're sending that energy. What what's that? What's that? Spiritual connection. So, boom. That's how this person's projecting their energy from a sexual healing sexual connection perspective um i'm trying to see why is that um breaking rules standing out to me um it's probably honestly y'all like i told you this person very fixed on their spiritual journey that breaking rules their attraction to you like they may be on some type of spiritual fast some spiritual cleanse where they are abstinent from sex they may not be um allowing themselves sex they may be abstinent they may be um just refraining for, from sex for some spiritual practice again this person's in heal 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 mode they never allow themselves to enjoy life so that could be why their attraction to you is breaking rules. Because it's not sexual, and it, it may not even be because this person's nature. It may be the restraint. Like, they may allow themselves that sensual energy. Like, oh, okay, I can think of power three from a sexual healing perspective, from a spiritual connections pers perspective, right? But but I'm, but I'm breaking the rules by being attracted to power three because it's feeling like a spiritual cleanse. And I wouldn't doubt it considering the energy from the beginning of the pile where we talked about this person and how they develop themselves spiritually they're very strict and restrictive with themselves as it relates to their spirituality because they do feel inferior with that you are good enough card they're very nitpicky with themselves very very hard on themselves okay and they do feel like you could heal that they almost feel like you'd be a bad influence because you'd allow them to enjoy things like being with you would make them enjoy things and they Apparently, that's a wrong thing. <laughs> so let me pull from this other deck. Undress me slowly. So very, very, very patient Taurus energy, right? Like this is a person that would really take their time with you. This is not a person that would rush into sex with you. They would wait and they would ask you to wait to have sex. Okay, just, just letting you know. And they, they undress me slowly. They take their time. Like, this is a very intimate experience. I got three cards. Want to make you scream. That was in another pile. You may have wanted to select that pile. 1655 may be relevant. That's the timestamp on this pile. Um, we've got ready for booty call, which popped up before. No, 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 no. We're not doing that. I quit. I'm going to take it back. I know I'm, I, I'm not. I don't do this. But I, I'm just not doing it. Like, I don't like it. I don't want that energy. Um repeating from past piles even though i cleansed the deck because i do feel um both piles coming in right now pile one and two but we're gonna leave them in their respective piles come on pile three let's see what's going on i felt like one of the other piles or both of the other piles began to take over the reading and that's why i put those cards back so try new things and see me putting the card back didn't mess with the energy. I know some people are funny about that, but we still have that booty energy. So, like, this person's very attracted to backsides, right? Like, that's that's really what they like. They like the chest area, but they really, really like the grip on the backside. But try new things. So, undress me slowly, try new things. That's, that's part of that breaking the rules. This person 
starts thinking about things that they don't normally think about when they think about you. I know we're not fixating on the sexual energy, but again, we, th we talked about this person. If you paid attention at the beginning of the reading, what the person's energy um, that's coming through, that, who's primarily sending you the sexual energy, I say sexual, but like the person that, that's sending you, that's thinking about you sexually in any way, right? The person that's heavily focused on you in any sexual way is this person that we talked about that is kind of Ooh, what in the beginning did I not say that it could be negative like some people resent you because of the attraction like some of you this person resents you because they're in the middle of their spiritual fast I don't know if you're a new person that stepped in and triggered the, that attraction in them while they're in the middle of this abstinence in the middle of this um the spiritual cleanse of, of purifying themselves sexually but yeah like there's a bit of a um hostile energy for some of you right let me take you there it is like this person wants to have you but right now it's not the right time like they can't they can't be having sex with you it's not a thing okay um that's what it is that's exactly what it is very interesting that a person that is um struggling with their sexual feelings for you is stepping through the pile rather than somebody else that is like very open and expressive with their sexual energy i'm i'm thinking it's because of that spiritual connection um and then at the i'm gonna pull the top and then take the bottom because I, I, the intent was the bottom okay was was to find one more and take the bottom so we have i'm testing your limits Again, this person's testing their boundaries, they're testing their commitment, their faith right now, and um, get mixed signals. So if that person's, if this, if you know who this is and you're interested and you feel like you're getting mixed signals, it's because like right now they are not, they're not supposed to be having sex. They're not supposed to be having relations with anybody and you're triggering them right now as they're in whatever cleanse thing they're doing to refrain from sex right now okay like they may not have sex for a certain period of year they may do a spiritual fast like a sexual fast during certain periods of the year and right now you're kind of messing with that because you're breaking the rules because they're thinking about you uh, right like they want to take you and you're testing their limits and they want to test yours as well but like the mixed signals is because of that and honestly they are annoyed and sexually frustrated so they may be projecting that other lovers onto you because they're probably thinking like oh um i'm interested in pile three and if i don't jump on pile three like pile three will get their feel somewhere else if that makes sense and other lovers is also like a third party energy and i know when we say third party we mean like somebody's cheating or something like that i'm not saying that at all that's not how i'm reading this energy at all for this pile even though some of you maybe maybe but other lovers right now is giving like prior engagements it is showing that their attention is elsewhere that their, their energy is elsewhere like they, they are not supposed to be fixating on sex and sexual energy with you so like that other lovers is like they're refraining from sex because their attention is on something else right like their spirituality whatever so interesting interesting person pile three this is very intriguing um and i didn't think i'm not certain that any of these piles went the way that i thought that they would but this is why we do these readings to see what comes up and honestly we may do this reading again in the future because i thought it was interesting and we may get different energy each time so yeah we might do it again in a couple of months right so that is all i have for you today pile three if this resonated please like comment and subscribe thanks for watching